Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Engineer J. I am a civil engineer and currently teaching as an engineering professor. So we have this third part on the discussion of three moment equations. So if you missed to watch the first two parts, I have posted their link in the description below. So we will try to solve um, problems here. So we will try to solve more problem in this um, third part. So we have uh, this example number three in which we are asked to determine the reactions. So this is a continuous beam with uh, three supports and a total of five reactions. Okay, so since this is an indeterminate beam, we cannot use equilibrium equation to analyze this beam. So we will need another approach which is three moment equations. We can also try to use slope deflection method, but in this case, we will uh, use three moment equation for this one. Now, since EI here is constant, so we can directly use the formula M L times length L plus M 2 MC times the length L plus the length of the right plus MR length of the right and plus 6A bar A over L plus 6A bar B over L and this equals to 0. This is 0 because we have no support settlement on the beam. Or we can choose any support here as our initial center point. So I would use a here as our C. So therefore, we need to extend. So this is only applicable if we have a fixed support as our end support. So therefore, um, if in that case, we can extend. So let's say it's our A prime. Okay, and we have also L prime, which is our length. And our this is our left now. And our right point is the support B. Okay, so this is our right point. So therefore, our ML here is the moment A prime, length this L prime plus 2, our MC, we have MA, that is our center, plus the length on the left, that is L prime, plus our length on the right is 6, 6 correct, since we have a 6 meter uh, length for the member on the right of C plus MR, which is MB, times the length of the right, which is 6, plus, now, 6A bar A over L here should be referred from the left point, and since we do not have load, so therefore this equals to 0, that means that it's 0, and 6A bar B over L should be referred from the right point, and since we have a concentrated load, which is acting at the mid span, so therefore, we have our three moment factor which is a 3 pl squared over 8 okay so we have plus now 6a bar b over l is equal to pl squared over 8 so we have a 3 times 225 length is 6 squared over 8 so therefore we have 6a bar b over l which is 3037.5 kilonewton meter squared and this equals to a zero now take note since we have imaginary um, a prime so we can um, equate that to zero and l prime here is a zero as well so therefore we have 2 m a times 6 plus 6 m b is equal to negative 3037.5 so we have 12 ma plus 6 mb equals to negative 3037.5 so this is our first equation since we have a two unknown variables so we need to come up with another equation here so we can set a new center so we can set b here as our new center point okay and this our left and this our right so therefore we have our left here is ma times the length of a now the length of a is 
um, 6 meters, that is the left side of C, left side of B rather. So we have times 6 plus 2, our new center here is MB, times 6 plus our length of the right member is 9, nine meters. So we have 9, correct? Plus MR, our right member here, our right point is MC. So you have MC times the length of the right is 9 plus. Now um, for our 6A barred A over L, so we will refer that from the left support. So this is our 6A barred A over L. And for our 6A barred B, so we refer that from the right support. So we have 6A barred B over L. Now since that is still a concentrated load which is acting on the mid span so we have the same value with 6a bar b over l so this one we will be using this one so we have 3037.5 plus for 6a bar b over l since this uniformly distributed load so we can use this equation which is WL cube over 4 or you can use integration which I have discussed in the second part of this topic so we have WL cube over 4 and this we have 30 times 9 cube over 4 and this equals to 5467.5 kilonewton meter squared so we add that our equation and this now equals to zero because we do not have support settlement so we have 6ma plus 30mb now take note we have a new uh, variable here which is mc so we can actually compute mc here because we have overhang here so mc can be computed by just uh, using equilibrium equation so if we let our MC as a negative, okay, that is rotating counterclockwise and can generate a frowning curvature. So we have he, this uniformly distributed load, 30 kN per meter, and the reaction at C, okay, and that is right of C. So we have the length of 3 meters. So we can uh, sum up moment at C here. Summation of moment at C is equal to zero, counterclockwise moment are positive. So we have MC minus 30 times 3 times 1.5 and this equals to zero. So we have MC here which is equal to 135 kN meter. So we have, now the unit is in negative because again MC can generate a frowning curvature. Okay? So we have negative 135 times 9 plus 3037.5 plus 5467.5 and this equals to 0. So we can uh, simplify this further. So we have 6MA plus 30MB and then we have negative 7290. So this is now our second equation. Okay, so we can um, solve for MA and MB here by elimination method or by substitution method. So I leave that to you. So you, if you have your calculator, then you can uh, do it directly. So by elimination method of the equation 1 and equation 2, so we would come up the value of MA here is equal to negative 146.25 MB here is equal to negative 213.75 kilonewton meters so we have now these member end moments and we also have again MC here equals to negative 135 kilonewton meters so we cannot compute all the reactions by um, drawing the free body diagram for each member so we have for member AC our moment A is negative 146.25 so therefore that rotates counterclockwise at point A so we have 146.25 and we have also 
um, at B. Okay, this is AB rather. So we have negative 2, 1, 3.75. That is um, clockwise on the left of B. Because again, this generates a crowning or frowning curvature. So we have 2, 1, 3.75. So we have here the reaction at A. And in, this is the left reaction of B. So we have, of course, the load. 225 kilonewton which is acting at 3 meters from A and B. So we can sum up moment at B here is equal to 0. Counterclockwise positive. So we have 146.25 minus 6 RA plus 225 times 3 minus 213.75 equals to 0. So we have the value of RA here which is equal to 101.25 kN. And since we have positive answer, therefore we have correct direction. For RBL, again this is now our reaction of A. Support A, so we have that one. Now for RBL, so we can sum up force as vertical is equal to 0. Force acting upward or positive, so therefore we have um, RA minus 225 plus RBL equals to 0. So we have RA here which is 101.25 minus 225 plus RBL equals to 0. So we have RBL which is equal to 123.75. So again, this is not yet the reaction at B because we need to compute for the RB on the right. And then we isolate uh, member BC. Okay, so we have a uniformly con distributed load here, which is equal to 30 kilonewton per meter, and the length is 9 meter. Again, at B, we have a moment negative to 13.75, so therefore the rotation is counterclockwise on the left of B. Because again, that would always generate a frowning curvature. So we have 213.25. 213.75. And at point C, we have moment of 135 kN. And the rotation is counterclockwise on the right of C. Therefore, this generates a frowning curvature. Okay? So therefore... This rotates clockwise on the left of C. 135 kN. And we have here the re vertical reaction at B. We have R, B, R. And on point C, we have here the R, C, L. We can compute R, B, R here by subbing up moment at C is equal to 0. Counterclockwise moment are positive. So we have 213.75. Minus R B R times nine plus thirty times nine times four point five minus one thirty five equals to zero. So we have R B R here, which is equal to one four three point seventy five kilo newton. So our reaction at B is equal to R B R plus R B L. This equals to 143.75 plus 123.75 and this equals to 267.5 kilo newton. So this now our reaction at support B. Now for RCL, we can sum up force vertical and this equals to zero upward force are positive so we have rbr plus rcl minus 30 times 9 and this equals to zero rbr is 143.75 plus rcl minus 270 equals to zero so we have rcl here which is equal to 126.25 kN. So we have to compute for the RCR to compute for the total um, reaction 
at support C. So we have this free body diagram. Okay, so we can sum up moment at C is equal to 0. So we can just um, sum up force vertical is equal to 0, upward force are positive. So we have, again, this is on the overhang side. This is our C and this is our D. Okay, so we have RCR plus minus 30 times 3 equals to 0. So we have RCR here, which is equal to 90 kilo newton. So therefore, our RC is equal to RCL plus RCR. This is equal to 126.25 plus 90. So this should give us 216.25 kilo newton. So this is our reaction at support C. So we have the reaction at a, we have 101.25 kilonewton and a, neg and a moment which is 146.25 kilonewton a meter. And the reaction at B is 267.5 kilonewton and support C has 216.25 kilonewton. So these are the reactions for this um, continuous beam. Okay, and that ends our lesson in three moment equation. Should you have any questions, you can comment it down and I'll try my best to answer each. Thank you guys for listening, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification bell. Thank you guys and God bless.